I love Bronco Nation, and I love being in a community where their football team matters to them, where if I go down the street, they're not asking me how the game was. They're telling me how the game went. <laughs> it's not, hey, coach, how's the team? It's, hey, you guys need to be better on third down. They support their team. So I love it. I love Bronco Nation, the community, and I want as many times as I can get in the community. I want this community to know their football coach, to know their football players, because this is their team. Spencer Danielson, the head coach of the Boise State Broncos. We know how much his players love him, and you see him on the sidelines and at news conferences. He's super passionate about his team, but there is so much more to him. He's a husband and dad, too. Maggie O'Meara has the chance to sit down with Danielson, his wife, and young daughters to find out how they balance such a high-profile job and family life. Oh, big girl. For Boise State head coach Spencer Danielson, football is a family affair. You'll often find his wife and two little girls visiting him here at work. So me and my wife, Rachel, we're going to be married 10 years in April. We met in college. I yeah. chased him around. Mm -hmm. <laughs> At least that's what he says. He was very persistent. And we have two beautiful little girls, a three and a half year old, Eleanor, and then a two year old, Rosalie. Say hi, Maggie. You remember I told, I told you Maggie was going to ask you a question? Yes, she yeah. asked you a question, sweet yeah. girl. Okay. Does your dad you coach the football team? Yes. So how old are you? This way. Does he does he work on the big blue field? Yes. Is he a coach? Yes. Yeah. No place I'd rather be, good man. Mm -hmm, so we'll Danielson has been a part of the Boise State coaching staff for years in several roles. So when we moved here in January 2017, Snowmageddon. So when I first came out here, I was like, everybody lied to me, said that we, this didn't snow a lot. I remember I called Rachel. She didn't move out with me right away. She's like, how's the weather? I'm like, great. And I was a defensive graduate assistant. By the grace of God, Coach Harson hired me as a full-time assistant after being here for a year. Over the years, was uh, D-line coach. Um, then I was uh, co-defensive coordinator, D-line coach. Then I was defensive coordinator, and now uh, the head coach. I know how much you love Spencer, and I'm glad because he is your new head coach. Yeah! It is a 100% dream come true. It's a dream job for me, these kids, this place, this university, the state. Like, we love it. Coach D isn't shy about expressing his love for Boise State and for his players on and off the field. I adore these kids, and, it's, and that's the reason I coach. And we talk about love in our program a lot, and I teach them that love means action and sacrifice. It's not just rainbows and butterflies and everything's happy. It also means telling them the truth good or bad. Building them to be better husbands, better fathers matters to me. And you can't do that if you don't build relationships with them. Like I know who our players are dating, what's going on in their personal life, academics, home life, because you need to. I need to be there to support them. I need to know that and that takes, that's what my day is focused on. We have 115 players on our team. I focus on getting to know them, making sure they know that I'm there for them. And it's really important to him to be a role model for his players. And that's why I want my wife, our girls in the facility a ton. I want our coaches and their wives and kids around all the time because I want our players to see it, to watch it. Because the reality is a lot of our players don't come from great families. Whenever I get off the phone with one of our players, I will not hang up without saying I love you. And there's been times where players have been like, coach, you're the first grown man that's ever told me I love you. Being able to step into that role, so as a husband, as a father, the only frame of reference they're gonna have is me and our coaches. Not saying you're perfect, Trust me, I'm a work in progress and you're constantly trying to be the best version of yourself, but the best way for them to see it is, is see us. So we bring them over to our homes, come over to our homes. They have you know, dinners at our homes as coaches so they can just be around our families. One of Spencer's proudest moments was officiating the wedding of player Braxton Feely and his wife over the summer. So being able to be granted an opportunity to marry Braxton and his wife was just such an amazing experience. And I don't take that lightly one bit. I mean, being a part of these kids' lives for now, but even down the road, that's why I coach. I'm gonna be calling you 20 years from now, making sure you're, you know, you're on point and handling business. Rachel loves connecting with the players too. Oh, I love it. To see these boys all the way through and to see how much they grow and mature and on and off the field, is it's really fun to watch. My girls love the boys, like they come in and they just lose their mind. Yeah, and you like watching all the football boys yeah. and giving them high fives and hugs and fist pounds yeah. and YouTube. Knuckles. 
Can you do fist pounds and go nuts? Uh-huh. And chicken wings? <laughs> yeah. We'll finish practice and I'll joke with the players, if you don't give those girls a high five, you're kicked off the team. Balancing family and work is the top priority for this coach. And I got great mentors in my life. You know, Coach Pete's a huge mentor in my life. I'm open about that. And so we talk through those things, like how to not let this job consume you. And so much of it is blending the two. It's not just, okay, this is football, this is my home life, and they're separate. They can't be. And to put your heart into something, you gotta make it, you gotta make it one. So I try to make sure anything we do that we do it together. And the Danielsons have big news to share with Bronco Nation. They're expanding their home team. And we got one on the way coming in March. So it's hard to keep it a secret for a little while. They just recently announced another baby is on the way with a fun photo shoot on the balloon. March 8th is the due date. For the Danielsons, Boise is where they're meant to be. And this is home for us. Like this is where our girls have been born. This is home. We love being here. If I was told 30 years down the road that I'm still the head coach of Boise State, that's a dream come true for me. I love that so much. Okay, here's something you may not know about Spencer Danielson. His younger brother, Ethan, lives here too, and he's a Boise firefighter. Danielson says he is so proud of him, and there are actually two stars in the Danielson family here in Boise.